Sonko of Sonko Rescue Team rescues Kibe from a possible ass whooping. <laughs> President Ruto promises 10,000 shillings to families affected by floods. Besha Farifari, 10,000. sana. And we are talking about settling 40,000 families countrywide. That's like roughly 400 million. Well. Now, as we enter today's episode, ask yourself hmm? that beef you've been having with your neighbor, your co wife, your ex-partner for years, is it gaining you any fame? Mm? Is it gaining you any money? No? Meanwhile, your mates who have learned the art of beefing to benefit themselves financially are doing the most out here. Mm? Some disturbing secrets might come up during this beef parade. Siboro utalilia kwa Range Rover, no? Now today, we learn a thing or two from Kendrick and Drake on the topic how to beef to get clout and bread. My name is Miss Kahiro, the quirky journalist reporting for Control Z. This is the news review. On to the highlights of the day. President Ruto promises 10,000 shillings to families affected by floods. Besha Farifari, 10,000. sana. Aha, divine protection or pure luck. Pastor misses death by a whisker. Something must kill a man, money or nyash. There's no in between. You shall find that out in a minute. And finally, Sonko of Sonko Rescue Team rescues Kibe from a possible ass whooping. Well, Acha Twinge kwa the news, Sasa. Hold this 10,000 real quick. Hmm? President Ruto promises 10,000 shillings to each family affected by the flood. So, Josie, our very able president, visited Kiamaiko area, one of the places badly affected by the floods, and of course, gave a hearty speech on what he and his government are going to do to help the affected residents. First, let me note real quick that he was in jeans. And remember jeans, you know, casual, casual, cause uh, un underground. He has to blend into the new environs of the local Mwananchi. Shout out to his PR team. So in his speech, he says, Juwatuakia Michael have been very good girls and boys who have relocated from their houses willingly to avoid being swept away, him as daddy of the country is going to reward them 10,000 Kenyan shillings. Daddy says that these 10,000 shillings should help the good boys and girls of Kia Michael to settle in well wherever they have relocated to as they wait for Daddy's government to execute its plans to sort the affected people. Give it up for Mzai, my dear. Good job. 10,000 shillings. And we are talking about settling 40,000 families countrywide. That's like roughly 400 million. Well, we live to see. Now, in his speech, Daddy for the country also notes that he has set aside one billion Kenyan shillings that is going to be used in rebuilding and renovation of schools countrywide so that the Kenyan child, Asikose Kusoma, again, we live to see. Tutakuwa hapa hapa to see what the government has in store for us. He also promises that no Mwananchi will sleep hungry during this chaotic time, that the government shall provide food until local Mwananchi is able kujipanga. Now, one might argue that you spoke a little bit too late daddy of the nation people have already slept hungry and those who have not have largely been helped by individuals and private entities food people are actually dying parents have watched their kids literally slip out of their hands and we're here talking about 10k and promising food in a cute little speech you know one may argue that this speech at Ingefa kutoka kitambo sana. Ile time you were opening a spa for your employees at Bunge Tower. But hey, better late than never. Sindio, hmm? daddy is here now, ladies and gentlemen, and that's all that matters. Sibora, maziwa imefika. Good, very good. Now moving on to the next story of the day. Shooting shot taken too literally. Now, let's cross borders, kidogo. Have you ever shot your shot? and missed it's quite embarrassing right but at least you didn't go to jail for it like this guy because tell me the f why this u.s man enters a church with a literal gun to shoot the pastor who was preaching on the pulpit a gun <laughs> 
So here's the tea. This pastor was doing a live streaming for his sermon when this dude with a gun comes in pointing at him. Mind you, again, I'm saying a live stream. So everything is being recorded. This guy really wanted to be God so badly. Damn. So he walks to the pulpit, gun pointed to the pastor and pulls the trigger. Tell me why the gun doesn't gun. Yani bullet I could talk Meanwhile, the pastor has of course jumped to his side for safety, dodging the bullet that never came out in the first place. Same way your crush keeps on dodging all your signs of affection again quite embarrassing but can we really talk about it americans let's discuss do you all just have a constant hard on for gunshots because it's either you're shooting at kids in schools or randomly blazing each other at dice games and that's how you took off take off and now a random ass guy shooting at pastors on pulpits is this the same american dream we were sold to guys watch any men arrest these goons immediately and speaking of being arrested <laughs> something must kill a man and that something frequently is nyash as proven yet again in this story men are so predictable i can't blame them so the dream of most Colombian men, arguably even women, might be to be arrested by this one particular female police cop by the name of Alexa Narvaez. Now she's frequently part of security during football matches in stadiums and you can already tell why people so badly want to be cuffed, eh? cuffed by her. Eh? Alexa, please play Nyashina Nyashina. Hey, wait, wait. <laughs> now, our muscle mommy is not only a badass cop, <laughs> badass cop, <laughs> but an influencer as well. Talk about diversity. You know, I personally love a woman who, you know, identifies her qualities, whether physical or not, and uses it to benefit herself. And if you think that's problematic, you, my friend, might be what is wrong with the society today. And in that same breath, apparently women in Colombia whose husbands frequent the stadiums are hating on Miss Alexa because according to them, their husbands don't really care much for the games. <laughs> they are there to admire Miss Alexa's nyashina Lakini Me, I'm no better than a man in this situation. I'd be there with your husbands with literal telescopes zooming in because have you seen that gorgeous woman hey also let's take it back to the fact that she's an influencer love me a woman with uh, multiple sources of income because i bet your butter deals a car silly now ladies a quick reminder hmm? you'd rather be the cop that is hated on for looking sexy and having her life going on for her than be the housewife who hates on the sexy lady because your husband has decided to die for nyash now if you wanted a sign to get a gym membership this is it escape the matrix my dear ladies now moving on to rudy Abba, kenya kidogo an interview has gone south somewhere keep a featuring sonko and rowdy youth now one of the most controversial internet personalities who might have an unhealthy obsession uh, for our nyanyes here in kenya aka the andrew kibe recently hosted an interview with former nairobi governor mike sonko at a restaurant along gong road surprisingly things were actually going well before chaos began why surprisingly apparently these two have been having beef for the longest time it was giving kendrick lamar and uh, drake but on a lower scale now andrew kibe came for his flamboyant dressing code specifically saying that by now sonko anafakwa metengeneza brand yake instead of dressing in versace kinaguchi and whatnot but yeah, trust sonko to always be on these brands always so kibe in his most special way of course with sprinkles of insults here and there advises Sonko to build his brand as a content creator and cloud chaser. He actually said cloud chaser and make something for himself instead of buying foreign brands, which according to Kibe would make more sense and will become yes, some sort of legacy for Sonko. Of course, our flamboyant former governor responded to this distract, warning Kibe to stay out of his personal life. He of course goes below the belt. Yeah, these people, eh? <laughs> below the belt during his come back saying that Kibe should in fact leave America where he has allegedly been awkward with Anyanyes and come back to Kenya for Sonko to pay him instead. <laughs> <laughs> the dishes went on and on. Now, Kibe has been in the country recently, and surprise, surprise, 
as he hosted Sonko for an interview, everything was going well until some rowdy guys believed to have come from Kibra showed up at the venue. Na mission ilikuwa moja to beat up and kill him. For whatever reason, they were just mad at the guy. Sonko then is seen akiwa to leave, hmm? somehow saving Andrew from a possible mob attack. <laughs> Side eye, because <laughs> some netizens are of the opinion that Sonko might have arranged for the goons to come rough up Kibe. But hey, that's neither here nor there. Anyway, the interview did indeed happen at the end of the day, and the beef might actually be over. So Kendrick and Jake should, you know, learn a thing or two from these two guys. Although the hip hop lovers have been having a ball the last few days, in fact, let's talk about it. K Dot versus Drake. Now, kuna hii beef imekuwa ikiendelea for weeks between Kendrick Lamar and Drake. Na sasa ime explode. Tell me why these grown ass men are dissing each other back to back in songs, calling each other pedos and wife beaters, exposing alleged hidden children, even coming at each other for being shot. What the hell, man? So, who poked the other, you may ask? Apparently, ni Drake. <laughs> A few weeks back, Big Zari Drake. If you know what I mean, <laughs> came at Kdot for his shoe size and the fact that he is short. Hmm. Now Kdot akanyamaza, but Drake ni nani akampoktena on another diss track? <laughs> Kdot akasema, you know what? Hold my beer. Eh? It's about to go down. If Drake goes low, I go lower. In fact, to hell. Now Kdot akaingia studio, hmm? akapiga a series of diss tracks, but the one that was quite diabolical was Meet the Graham. Now Graham's ni nani? Ni family name Yakina Drake and K-Dot addresses each and every family member including an alleged daughter that we didn't even know about. <laughs> and anyway, Kendrick did a number on him. Now the drama keeps unfolding. We were ni Tim Gani, Tim Drake or Tim K-Dot. Me personally, I really don't give a f I don't understand why two grown ass men are fighting. But hey, don't come for me. Don't come for me. Well, that's it from us today. My name is Miss Kahira reporting for Control Z. This has been the news review. I shall see you in the next video. <laughs>